Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the competitors for our next category, the championship matches for the Recurve Women's Finals. This is for first, second, and third place. Our first athlete, Michelle Kroppen of Germany. Ida Roman of Mexico. And Elena Richter of Germany. Please give them a round of applause. Sorry. Well, Crystal, here we are in the championship. Michelle Kroppen making a significant impact on the indoor circuit this year. Ida Rahman, the Olympic so silver. This is your class, the championship recurve female. I know you're sitting here, but let's talk about the level of shooter in this as we decide the champion in this one. So all three of these women shot great. Um, what's interesting is how they got here. It was a little different each day. So Michelle shot probably the most consistent of all three. Shot a 90, 291, 291, 289. Aida shot a 290, 292, 289. And Elena shot very different than the other two. She shot an 88, a 288, a 289, and then came out today with a 294. Wow. So she really was on fire today. After last night, we saw her in the World Cup Finals shooting. I believe she finished third. Um, she was definitely in the bronze medal match. So she was shooting really well last night, carried over into today, we saw. So whether that continues this evening will be really interesting to see. But all three of these women, great shooters. This is the Vegas Shoot 2020 here in Las Vegas, Nevada, as we are getting ready to watch the championship recurve female. The decision, pretty full house on a day of, well, really of, of wrapping up shooting for all categories, over 3,800 competitors. What you're watching now is the championship division, but we have shooting for everyone, all ages, all divisions, all types of shooting from bare bow to what we're looking at now, the Olympic re uh, recurve style of bow to obviously the compound. So now, Crystal, the target faces were 20 yards downrange, just like we were on the compound side, but are the target faces the same as what we saw in compound? So the target faces are identical, but what's interesting for these recurve shooters is the 10 ring here in Vegas is what the 10 ring is everywhere for recurve. And so this first end of score, they're going to get practice, I assume, just like the compounders had. But that first end of score is going to be just like what they had all week, what they have at World Archery, what they have anywhere they go. But when we go to that X-Ring 10 scoring, that's something recurvers are not familiar with. As well as some of these <laughs> recurvers weren't familiar with the fact that they get some practice, a practice end. <laughs> What's interesting this year is it's an Olympic year. Two of these archers are from Germany, and Germany has already qualified an Olympic team. So both of these archers, I believe, will be going to Tokyo, whereas Mexico just has a single spot at this point. So we see, um, you know, it's a little bit different indoor season for Olympic archers. So again, we're going to see arrows spread a little bit further from the middle than what we see in compound. We're going to see much smaller arrows. We see it was a great shot there of her arrow. It's what we see compounders typically shoot outdoors, recurvers, especially the women. We don't see them really switching their arrows indoors. They're going to shoot their same outdoor arrows. What did you shoot in this one? I shot exactly what Ada's shooting right there, X10s, East and X10s. And of course, there is that talk that it, it is an Olympic year and shooters didn't want to, you know, switch back and forth. Well, as these ladies head down range to retrieve their arrows, we got a chance to. To. Um, we get a chance to really take a look at the form that these women have right now. Now, here's the thing, Crystal, looking at them. You know, you have teammates, obviously, from Germany, but it seems to be, to me, a little lighthearted considering that this Vegas championship is on the line. <laughs> Vegas for recurve is a little different. <laughs> okay, go ahead and I explain actually, that. Well, this really is a compound tournament. We talk about prize money, and you look at the winners of this championship recurve female, I think it's around $3,500. Mm -hmm. And in a couple minutes, we're going to see the 
pro men and it's fifty four thousand dollars <laughs> a little different so again we don't see all the top shooters come out for this in recurve a lot of the korean shooters don't come to this tournament um, again especially in olympic year this isn't the priority the olympics are a much bigger tournament whereas compound we heard sergio earlier talking about this is the tournament for a compound archer yeah no doubt about it and also there is the you know the threat of coronavirus and so there were some people abroad who canceled to come here on the korean side and obviously on the chinese side as well for their shooters and that thinned out the recurve field ever so slightly just a few people didn't show up but just, just enough to help me make the finals last night <laughs> <laughs> yeah in world archery <laughs> indoor finals the recurve women by the way in this one the championship recurve women shooting for five thousand five hundred dollars for first two thousand two hundred and fifty for second and one thousand seven hundred and fifty for third so the scoring will be regular scoring which means 10 and x rings count the same and then if there is a tie between whoever either the three of them or two of them then we go to the next round which will be only x which for recurve again is, is just nuts unless you're brady ellison <laughs> 20 yards down range 40 centimeter target face two minutes on the clock to shoot three arrows plenty of time almost always for recurve archers yeah, so unlike compound that you see them really taking the time to aim and, and settle into the shot, you see recurve, it's a lot more movement. It's continuous movement all the way through, so it's a much quicker shot typically. We're seeing some really good arrows so far, although Richter, you can see a drift left into yep, the so nine Yep, so she ring. definitely has a nine. I had the pleasure of shooting with her in Berlin this year. Aida Roman, Olympian. Silver medalist in London. Long hold. But drills. Yeah. So definitely we have a 30 on the far left with Michelle. So again, it's the Big Ten. So she's for sure in still and elena unfortunately is going to be for sure out regardless of this third arrow the question is what about aida aida roman needs to shoot another x to stay in it and the chance to win it if she shoots a nine michelle's going to win it and then we could go to a shoot off for second place so much to be decided in these last two arrows mm -hmm. there's one Oh, did you see that? Her eyeballs. Mm -hmm. She looked over at the clock and then back at the target. And that was a nine, eight, nine wow. liner. So I have never seen that before at full draw. Wow. Also, what's unique here, too, is when usually like in a world archery event, which a lot of these competitors shoot, you're going to have the ability to have a coach in your box. Exactly. Especially in center stage. They don't hear. No, and I, I'm guessing that's what happened is, she, again, in a finals match, too, you usually only have 20 seconds. So that's what these women are used to. That 20 seconds, they got to get their shot off quick. They don't have time to let down. And It uh, looks like this thing's going to be decided in one end. For first. But I think there might be a tie for second. Might be. Kropen, yeah, so Michelle Kropen comes up with a 30. Outstanding score. That's your archer on the right, and you can see she's taking a deep breath. <laughs> and again, she was she was the most consistent of the three over the three days. Notebook. Yeah. So you'll see she's plotting her, probably plotting her arrows or writing their arrow score down. It's a very common amount on recurve shooters to really pay attention to every arrow they shoot. Now Aida Roman from Mexico. You wait her scores. Looks like a 29 to me. 29. Yep. yep. So I think we're going to have a continued shoot off for second place. But we'll wait to hear confirmation. And Richter, 29. Yep. Okay. Give a big so. round of applause to your champion. So Michelle Kropen. Michelle Kropen. 
is your champion. We'll stand on top of the podium, and we still have got to decide second and third place between Elena Richter and Aida Roman. Does that take any of the pressure off, you think? You know, like, okay, well, unfortunately, I didn't win, so now I have to shoot for second place. Is it? Does it free up the nerves, do you think, Crystal? It's hard to say. Some people, it might intensify the nerves because they really want that second place because second to third place, the money really drops off. There's your winner. I think a little disbelief. Yeah. But... Well, it's awesome, to, yeah. it's awesome to see these two German women getting some, some attention. Their third teammate had shoulder surgery this year, and she has been really the focus of the team, has been the top shooter, winning indoor world championships before um, the World Series final, doing well here in Vegas. So it's great to see they really have a well-rounded team with these three women. Big smile, and we continue on for second and third place. Will we see the eye shift from Ida Roman again <laughs> looking at that clock? That was crazy. Now, for those at home, one of the differences you'll see is, is what the archers are wearing on their bodies. Uh, we see chest protectors with recurve shooters. That's because the string is coming in clear in to contact their shirt. So keeps it consistent in how it comes off the shirt nice and smooth we also see them with arm guards on their bow arm and that's because the string again is coming much closer to their arm and it hurts <laughs> if yeah. it hits that arm oh, it certainly does so it looks like a 10 for richter and mm -hmm. a nine for aida roman but again recurve three arrows a lot can happen so it's not abnormal to see a nine out of these shooters Upper left-hand part of your screen is the score on your third screen device. Might be a little small, and we have a reason for that because we have a lot of archers getting to the line after this competition in the championship compound open. So it looks like Elena has two tens from this view. Another nine, it, so. It kind of looked like that, actually, on the release. Aida yeah. usually has a very crisp yes. you know, release. Yes. And on that, that one, there wasn't was a, a normal shot. Mold. Yeah. No, it looks like she's got a yeah. 30 to me. Yeah, it looks like uh, Richter might have a 30. Oh, wait, we're on little 10. We're on little 10, so that changed everything. <laughs> Hard to hard to think of recurve with that little ten. It I'm is, sorry. <laughs> yeah, we apologize to the so audience. Yeah, it is all so three nines hard. and yep. all three nines. I think. Yep. So yep. I think we're tied up at 27. 27 apiece. <laughs> That's right. So the second end, and this is a couple of things with recurve that we don't see. One is <laughs> the, right, not cumulative or cumulative scoring. Yes. And yep. not set system scoring, and the little tiny little two centimeter ring in the middle. The X ring is now the ten. Yeah. So hard to hit. <laughs> so hard to hit. And we see, I mean, both of these women are very accomplished archers, and yep. neither one of them hit a single X that end. A little different than what we saw on the compound side. So really what you're looking at is other than that two-centimeter ring dead smack in the middle, the rest of the yellow all, all counts as a nine. So there's a lot of room to play with there. So 27 for Aida Roman and for Richter. And we see what a shift that is. If we were at Big Ten scoring, this would have been a 30 to a 28. Mm -hmm. or 20, Yeah, 28. Instead, it's both 27. So really big shift. I mean, Elena shot a much tighter group. But doesn't matter when we're talking little tens. Great catch, Crystal, on the, on the scoring. So another end. Same score. Same type of scoring. The X ring, which is now just the 10 ring for this round. And, Crystal, this is what you're looking for all the time. It's all about that form with recurve archery. Mm -hmm. And what are you seeing from these two? You see a nice clean release. Both their hands are going, following their face back, and looks really nice. Their bow arms are steady. So unlike compound that has a release, a mechanical device, it's the fingers. 
how that string comes off that fingers is crucial on where it hits. It just seems like there's so many variables oh, there when is. shooting that's, a recurve bow. That's why Brady's 900 is just <laughs> so incredible. And what Crystal's talking about is Brady Ellison from the United States did something no one's ever done before here in Las Vegas. Not one, not two, but three 300s. 900 for Brady Ellison. All right, so back to this match. Championship recurve female finals. The champion has been decided. Richter with a letdown. Roman with a nine. Now it's in the 10 ring if you normally watch, but it is a nine because it didn't hit that X. So Aida Roman back to full draw, trying to find that middle. It almost feels like at this point, if, if someone just one finds the middle, mm -hmm. it might be the deciding factor for second place. Roman with a letdown. So that launch and just high. Yep. And the question becomes, do they really change their shot to try to hit that X? Or do they try to stay consistent with their normal? <laughs> that's that's really comes into play. And what we see here, I'm actually just pulling up the results. Oh, look at that. So oh, close she caught it. Roman. It looks, looks like, like she, she may caught, have it. caught it. All she has to do is just touch that outside line and gets that higher point value. And over the course of the three days, I just looked it up, she actually shot three more X's, so barely anything, but three more X's than Elena. An X here would definitely seal second place. Mm -hmm. As it looks like Richter shot two nines so far. And nope, nope. it's going to be a nine for Roman. And she's asking some advice. So she needs an X here to keep this shoot off going. At least that's what we think. I mean, we have to wait for those judges' call, but it sure looked like. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. I think it's pretty solid. Officially, no. Nope. Okay, so it looked like Richter didn't quite catch it, I mean, which is so heartbreaking in a way because this is recurve. There's so many variables involved in getting that arrow down range and. Those are three solid tens. Yeah. Well, again, normally, normally, <laughs> again, but it's a nine right arrow, now. that first arrow, she shot the yep. 30 where Roman did not <laughs> in yeah. Big Ten recurve scoring. So she was definitely more consistent, but it doesn't matter. We're going for those X's. And it's that arrow they're looking at right now that is going to be the deciding factor between second and third place. been on this line what do you think they're talking about <laughs> it's hard to say can be anything can be their pets <laughs> yeah right Roman 28 yeah so she did get that X she so did that's crucial yeah and we can see from Richter's arrows not much of a a look needs you know it doesn't have to be an extended look at this no, point no the only one that was close was that bottom left yeah. one target number one but again, with shooting those micro diameter arrows, those East and X tens, they actually give you a really nice, clean mm -hmm. hole to look at. And so I think we're going to get a 27 for confirmation. And third place, Richter with a 27. Eleanor Richter, give her a big round of applause. And second, Ida Romain. So there you go, Bruce Call called it. Ida Romain. Second place and Richter, Elena Richter in third place. What a way to do it here. Championship recurve female done and dusted for the Vegas Shoot 2020 here in Las Vegas, Nevada. As we take a look at some of those highlights and beautiful executing shots on the Olympic recurve, as we like to call it. And we could see some of these athletes in the Olympics later on in the summer. Yeah, I don't know officially German's rule, German national rules, but I believe both of these German women will be shooting in Tokyo as their team did qualify a full team spot. Well, those matches were fun to watch, and we decided a champion.